welcome. This is Afshin Ratansi and Yvonne Ridley joining you from the heart of the British capital from the world's only floating television studio. And we have another episode jam-packed full of items as we take you around the world from the turmoil of Somalia to the recovery of Sri Lanka. We also talk about the crisis hitting the Christian world and find out the truth behind accusations that the Pope is trying to poach disaffected priests from the ranks of the Church of England. And these two are on a mission to prove Britain is turning into a police state. Are they right? It's a serious issue, but they use humour as their weapon. So take your seats as Britain's only floating TV studio prepares to set sail on another journey of discovery. Somalia's transitional government is never far from the news and sometimes it's hard to keep up with the latest developments. But today's first guest will help us cut through the fog of war, bring us the truth about Somali pirates and tell us a little more about the rebels and which factions they represent. Welcome to Abbas Gassan, the editor and founder of InsideSomalia.org. All the Western media is focused on the, at the moment on this massive uh, push in Afghanistan, but uh, the, there's quite a lot of activity in Somalia at the moment as well. Yes, uh, the government is uh, basically trying to push the rebels out of the capital city, and the rebels themselves are building up to confront that attack. Um, the government controls a small strip of the, of the capital city, Mogadishu, and the civilians are really taking the brunt of uh, the mortar fire and, and this conflict in Mogadishu. As, as Yvonne was saying, I mean, uh, we're hearing all about how Al-Qaeda is the reason for the big push in Afghanistan, but uh, there are other countries, not Afghanistan, that are involved, would, would you say, a little bit more? Yes, uh, unfortunately, Somalia doesn't get its share of uh, the media and the interest uh, because of the fatigue and the, you know, the conflict has been going on for nearly two decades. And if you look at any stats, the humanitarian crisis in Somalia is mind-boggling with uh, 1.3 1 1 million internally displaced people and 600,000 refugees out of the country. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a huge humanitarian disaster unfolding in Somalia, but if you stop the man in the street, all he'll talk about is Somalia, oh yes, the pirates. What is the reality of the pirates? Are they villains or Robin Hood hero type characters? Well, it depends uh, if that man is, uh, is in the streets in London or streets in, in Puntland or other areas where the rebels have a stronghold, uh, the pirates, sorry. Uh, in the case of Somalia, they are the heroes because they generate an economy. They're all that amount of millions of dollars paid to them somehow finds its way through the local, um, the local markets and, and businesses and so forth. So it does make a difference. And when you don't have any kind of income, anyone who gives you some money uh, through the triple down effect is, is your hero. So and I understand they have an ecological impact. Yes. Um, in Somalia, for example, we have a large amount of foreign sea trawlers from China, all the way from Spain and France coming in to catch the tuna. And obviously now with the pirates, uh, they're staying away from it. And this has actually led to kind of, you know, local fishermen benefiting and being able to catch their own fish. But you don't get that uh, in the international media. The only thing you get is the impact on the merchant trade and you know, global uh, so shipping lanes. So you're telling us then that the Somali pirates are really eco-warriors? Well, that's uh, laws of unintended consequences. So they've basically initially started as local fishermen who were pushed by the uh, large sea trawlers. And somehow they captured a couple of these ships and they got paid ransom. Uh, money for it, and then they went to a bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's all started with the local fishermen because they couldn't catch and make their own daily lives uh, on the coast of Somalia. If, if Somalia is so key to uh, certainly George W. Bush's war on terror, why is it do you think people will have to rely on InsideSomalia.org? You, you keep talking about the media. Why is the media not interested? otherwise in, in uh, covering it? Well, I mean, you know, really the Western media has a very short time span. I mean, if you're not on the 6 o'clock news, if you're not Haiti, if you're not Afghanistan, if you're not on the British elections... Well, they're British hostages, of course, at the moment. Uh, yes, so in moments violence. like that, well, Paul and, and Chandler uh, and Rachel were kidnapped, you do get 
uh, that spike of interest. But then the moment they're either freed or whatever happens, you know, it's business as usual and they move on. And unfortunately, uh, the issues and the problem of Somalia is much more long term and it's not only a six and What about US interference now? I mean, obviously, they were interfering big time uh, under the Bush administration. How would you characterize? U.S. Uh, interference, I think, is the only word. Well, the U.S. Mm -hmm. has explicitly uh, shown their support for the transitional federal government, um, and they are really, without the U.S. supporting them, the transitional federal government would fall. They only control a small strip of land, and they uh, have the support of the African Union troops, and they are financed by, you know, obviously the Western donors. And if this doesn't happen, then the Mind you, they were, they were supporting the Ethiopians before, and they managed to survive. Yes. Well, you know, the, again, uh, there's a proxy war, and they did, uh, I, should I say, the invisible arm of the George Bush policy to Somalia. And now Ethiopia has, has went back, uh, left Somalia. But uh, the Americans are still there, uh, but they are doing very much not an active role, but uh, uh, kind of behind the scenes they're pulling the strings. What string. do you see as the end game, Gar?